Hey, glad you made it. I'm Baron Blade. Whatever you've heard about me, don't believe it. Unless it was good, then it's totally legit. So you two ready for the big show tonight? Yeah, can't wait to check out all the matches. I'm sure you'll be able to watch from the back a bit, but I don't allow wrestlers in the audience. Unless it's a lighthouse and we need to beef up the head count, but that's not the case for tonight. Especially after we blew up on social media, saying two future WWE superstars were competing. Wait, are you saying we're in a match? Yeah, I sent Chase a message about it. It said, bring a friend to the show, need more matches. Chase, what the heck, man? To be fair, the one other time we met, you talked nonstop about how much you loved collecting matches from restaurants you wait at. So I guess me bringing some from several different local establishments was a complete waste of time. Oh, no, I'll still take those. Thanks. This is exactly what I was afraid of. I didn't want anyone to know we were here, and now we're going to wrestle? Not my problem. And like I said, it's already out there on social media, so you might as well go through with it anyway. You should probably go get changed into your gear, though. I don't have any gear. I thought we were just here to watch the show, remember? Oh, come on, man. You always bring your gear. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Just wrestling your clothes, I guess. Remind me to never listen to you again. How would I be able to remind you if you're not gonna listen to me again? You're the worst.
Well, look who it is. The two hottest stars on the Indies. I guess you saw what happened. I'm certainly not an expert on the old internets, but it was kind of hard not to see it. Footage was plastered all over social media. What'd you think of the match? Four stars? Five, maybe? That's not really important right now. What matters is I wasn't the only one who got wind of your little guest appearance. You know, they do have internet up in Connecticut, right? So here's what I'm thinking. First time offense, your sentence is a crap ton of cardio, and then a match against the Viking Raiders. Sound fair? Yes, that's more than fair. And I promise it won't happen again. It better not. Or you two will permanently be on the Indies. Now go do laps around the building until the Viking Raiders get here. When might that be? Oh, about three hours from now. Go. is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Daryl.
Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, I mean you're gonna face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So, who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs, and potentially open more doors. But if you lost, the risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? I want to really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait, we almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys.